I'm Melissa Paul, and this is Discover Reno. Take a trip down memory lane or a new adventure. Whatever you choose, Hot August Nights has it all. Here in Rancho San Rafael Park, almost 100 hot air balloons will take to the Reno skies as a part of the largest free hot air ballooning event in the world. In downtown Reno, you will find a hotel that coexists with the mountains, the lakes, and the incredible view. Alani's High Energy Starlink Hui is family-friendly entertainment that is available to all guests here at Alani. And Uncle happens to be the cultural orator for Alani, and who better to give us the details about the Starlink Hui and show me a special type of Hawaiian hula. Looking good. Very simple stuff. We could take our act on the road, Uncle. Where is the egg? So, Bill, can you can you help me find the egg? Because yeah. I don't. You know, it's not the it's not here on the table, but it's it's behind us somewhere. Do I really have to pretend like I can't see it? Because it's so obvious. You know, you're supposed to look comfortable and yeah. smile. Like, yeah, this is natural. You look cute in a t-shirt. Right? Thank you. Hi, I'm Melissa Paul with Sack & Co. Live here at the grand opening of Disney's Cars Land. And I'm joined by none other than John Lasseter. Oh, you open it up in here have some popcorn. I would love to. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. In addition to the attractions at Disneyland Resort's two theme parks, the attention to detail in TLC is also given to the almost 900 audio animatronics figures. Like my pal here, Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Well, the news around the world. Tensions mounting in Tehran after a surging mob stormed British embassies. If you ever wonder why your teenager might seem more emotional, maybe a little revved up, perhaps um, not really good at making some decisions. Herman Cain's popularity plummeted in Iowa following the latest allegations that he had an affair. Cain has support from only 8% of likely Republican voters in the Iowa caucus. Not too much activity just yet. We're going to get more lift here off the mountain, and that's going to increase those winds as well. That's why we have a high wind warning in effect for the areas here highlighted in orange. We could see gusts up to about 65 miles an hour in some spots of the west slopes. Even on the extreme high peaks, we're talking the summit area. Area, maybe 70 to 100 mile per hour winds. And I am so excited. Oh, we got thank you for having me, man. Yay! Well, I used to watch you when you were on MTV, oh, when they actually still the, used to play music. The real MTV. Yes, but I never knew I'd be sitting here saying hi yeah, to you. Yeah, that's how I like hi. this, girl. I've been waiting hi. to meet you, too, with your little oh. future on. You look oh, cute. Thanks, I see you. I'm I trying see to dress you. like I an I know egg. my color schemes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, so we've been giving you guys a chance to win an Easter egg. Mm -hmm. It's hidden here on the set, Bill. And uh, we're going to be giving away an Easter basket and the DVD. So if you, if you find the egg, what happens? Th then they get an Easter basket. A big one? Well, a, With all the candy in it? Yeah, it's got candy in it. And a real rabbit? Oh, real he's rabbit. A real rabbit. Now he's making some false promises. <laughs> no real <laughs> rabbit. Expert crafter Sophie Maletsky. Sophie is here now with tips on becoming a successful YouTube preneur as an entrepreneur. Get her, right? So, big welcome to Sophie Maletsky. You know we love you. And I am completely floored with what you brought with you today. <laughs> and I want to get to that in a moment. But, did you make it to uh, be so successful and, and actually make a profit? Okay, so the thing is, we became a YouTube partner. Check this out on my website. You've so, got respond. To. You, you have to respond. Because you're building yeah. a community. And, and Sophie, clearly, you, you keep saying, you know, you got to have content that's original and yours. And yeah. clearly, I mean, your success is. You are so amazingly ingenuitive, That's and nice what you created behind you, we have to point this out really fast. This is a duct tape dress and a hat. It's only just an example of what Sophie does on her YouTube uh, video page, and also she's got a book. You have so many options for viewers to get out there to be inspired to even attempt all the amazing things that you create on a daily basis. Here to share some of those top trends for landscaping in 2015 is landscape designer. We have Michael Glassman. Hello, Michael. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So what are those top trends that we're looking at? Okay, as you said, water is very important. So there's some certain things that you might want to think about. For example, and I brought a sample of it, synthetic yes. lawn. That actually is really good looking synthetic yeah, lawn. Yeah, they yeah. even have the dead stuff mixed in with yeah, it. Yeah, they do. Attention to detail, right? Big shaded area. They couldn't get grass to grow because uh, it would just turn to mud. Yes. So you put this down and the kids can play on it and you don't have to worry about them getting all muddy. Uh, and brilliant. And, and, and no grass stains in the laundry no either. No grass stains. And I have to say, I took your advice this summer and I did that myself and I can say firsthand, that's awesome. So thank you so much for that You're tip. welcome. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1130 as we bring value home right here on Sack & Co. Take care. This is amazing. Isn't that great? This really does yeah. look like super real. I love it. I love the demo.
The new Frozen Fun Experience has made its debut here at Disney California Adventure. And I am joined now by Robin Trowbridge. Yes. He is the show director. Robin, yes. tell me all about Frozen Fun. Well, there's an awful lot going on here at Disney California Adventure. As you have just said, uh, there's a great opportunity for, uh, for kids, friends, and families to come out and not only uh, experience Frozen in a whole new way, but get to meet some of our favorite Frozen characters, Anna and Elsa. Yes, absolutely. And so what are some of those opportunities, though? Tell me about some of the great features that people Well, there's a, over at the animation building, there's an opportunity for uh, Elsa and Anna's uh, meet and greet. You get to meet them kind of in their environment, take a picture, and experience the Frozen sing-along where fairy, fairy characters come out, and you can sing along with them. So you get to meet them, you get to sing along with them, and then when you've had all that kind of fun, you head on over to Olaf's uh, Snowfest, uh -huh. and you can play in real snow. Real and snow? And guess what you get when you go there? What? Warm hugs from oh. Olaf. Oh, of course yes. you do. That's Absolutely. Awesome. You get to meet Olaf for the first time. It's fantastic. So it's like you're submersed into the movie. Absolutely. We just brought it right here to California Adventure and, and just want to give everyone an opportunity to get even closer to some of their favorite things. And what was the motivation of bringing this experience to all the fans? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, certainly the, the popularity of Frozen mm -hmm. is, is undeniable. So it was really the popularity. Let's see, let's respond to that and see what we can do to give them even more of an experience. And that's a great idea because yeah. everybody deserves to let it go. Right? Absolutely. You yeah. Said it. You said it. You said it. At the top of their lives. And we let it go completely yes. and blow the night away. It's really, really fantastic. And you are clearly very excited about this. Oh, we are we're very but happy about it. Dare I ask you, though, what is your favorite part? Can you whittle it down? Well, I got to tell you, Melissa. Yeah. Uh, Lay it on me, Rob. No. It's it's all wonderful. Freeze the Night is, yeah. is, is the show that I directed. Uh, and then uh, my other cohorts, and other, they, they show directed all the other parts of the Frozen Fund. So it's kind of a, a community effort that we built all this. Uh, but, you know, Freeze the Night holds a little... A little closeness to my heart because I think that's where people can really come and kind of experience it in a completely different way and just and just have a great time. Yeah, and chilling out actually has multiple meanings in your yep. party. Absolutely, because yes. you get to come and get a little freezing. And Robin, this yep. is all available only for a very limited time, right? Yes, from now until May 15th, you can come out and experience all the frozen fun right here at Disney California Adventure. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Thank Robin. You. And, Thank and you. Warm hugs, right? Warm hugs. I can't believe it. <laughs> and I forecast from Melissa Paul. The weather word not changing much, still warmer because those temperatures are still rising. How hot will it get today? Details in my forecast. We're already talking about winter driving conditions in the mountains. A very sloppy, windy weather possible here in the valley. But this means increasing clouds throughout the day and showers spreading throughout the day here in the valley. But the next storm that we're really watching is one still positioned a little further off. This is going to push in Tuesday into Wednesday, bringing some mountain snow into the Sierra. If you have any travel plans, taking you over the higher elevations. Get ready for winter driving conditions. Today, though, showers likely starting out towards the bay, maybe as early as in the next half hour or so. Likely, though, we'll see increasing clouds up towards the afternoon. We'll see showers kick off around the afternoon hour here in the valleys. Not until late afternoon evening will we likely see that into the San Joaquin Valley and the foothills and the higher terrain. But this is what we really need to be ready for is a winter storm uh, conditions for the areas here highlighted in blue. Tuesday into Wednesday, if you're going anywhere within this location, be ready. We do have a winter storm watch in effect that will be in place from Tuesday into Wednesday. That's Tuesday morning um, or Tuesday night. That is all the way into uh, midday Wednesday above 6,000 feet. We're expecting about 18 inches along the ridge tops, which means up to about four inches possible around Donner Pass. We're talking Carson Pass and also Echo Summit. So be prepared for that. Make your plans now because winter weather is coming for the Sierra. As far as for today here in the valleys, we'll start mainly dry with increasing clouds, a chance of some afternoon showers, except for the bay where you may get those showers a little bit earlier. Your temperatures will be in the 60s further inland here into the Sacramento Valley, the upper 60s to low 70s expected. Nighttime temperatures will generally be in the low to mid 50s. Very chilly, pretty much where we're starting this morning. But one thing to note is around 5 p.m. and then overnight, that's when those showers have become more occasional. Though we are expecting lighter showers, less than a tenth of an inch possible for the valleys for today. That's going to increase as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Down the San Joaquin Valley, your temperatures will be into the low 60s around Santa Cruz and 74 for San Jose, but into the San Joaquin will be in the low to mid 70s for your high. Clouds will increase. Your showers will likely kick off around 5 p.m. And then also uh, increase as we head into your overnight hours. Your nighttime temperatures in the low to mid 50s as well. Up towards the west slopes of the Sierra, the main player today is going to be gusty winds up to about 30 miles an hour. Clouds are going to increase. You'll see some late day showers and your temperatures will be in the 60s and 70s. Low 60s as you head up towards Tahoe. Nighttime conditions, showers are going to increase. Winds will still be blowing. Your nighttime temperatures will be in 30s and 40s between Truckee and Tahoe. With mainly the 50s along the west slopes, we'll see the 40s between Quincy and Nevada City. A close up look here at your Sacramento extended forecast. Pay attention. We're talking very cool conditions for this time of year and wet and wild. So 71 today.
today will drop into the 60s as that front passes Tuesday and Wednesday, bringing that mountain snow. Our valley temperatures will drop in the low 60s. We'll kick off a chance of some valley thunderstorms. Notice here Stockton and Modesto will see the same thing as we head into Thursday. Some residual showers may be lingering early Thursday morning, then drying on the heels of that. Your weekend looking good. It's just this week is going to be very sloppy and unusually cool. As we head into the Sierra, keep in mind that chance of some uh, mountain snow will be picking up Tuesday into Wednesday, definitely infecting past levels. So we'll keep an eye on that for you in regards to your commute. If you ever wonder why your teenager might seem more emotional, maybe a little revved up, perhaps um, not really good at making some decisions. Well, researchers at the UC Davis Center for Mind and Brain are trying to find out. They are scanning teenagers' brains and finding that there's more blood flow and the deeper portion where emotions are. Well, here's a quick check of your top stories to a possible hazing death. Florida A&M officials are expelling four students for their role in the death of a marching band member, Robert Champion. Authorities say that hazing played a role in the death but have not released many details. The university's band director was fired and the band suspended. Well, it may be Thanksgiving, but for many, it's the start of the Christmas shopping season. And with some stores open today, they're not even waiting until midnight, which leaves us wondering if Thanksgiving will be wiped off the proverbial plate as a quiet day with the family. Used to be that stores waited until midnight to open, but more and more are competing for your first holiday dollar. So the question is, what is it going to be for you today? You're going to flop down with the family? You're going to take advantage of some of these bargains we're showing you right here. We are just behind the main gate of Disneyland Park, the happiest place on earth. You are about to see something that nobody ever gets to see, a behind-the-scenes look at Disneyland Park and Disney California. California adventure. After all the food and the rides and the entertainment, the fireworks and all the parades, you think Disney's magical during the day. Wait until you see it at night. Have you ever gone to Disneyland Resort and you swear the parks changed overnight? Well, your eyes aren't fooling you because it probably did. Welcome to Disneyland's Main Street at night, a construction zone. Literally, we had to wear hard hats. During our visit, they happened to be loading in Halloween time. But similar to the summer season or Christmas, the magic transforming the parks into these seasonal overlays requires a similar overnight dedication. So Chris, tell me about the overall kind of resort enhancement for Disney. So we do the enhancement for Christmas, for Halloween, for Memorial Day. 365 days out of the year, Disney cast members are planning, fabricating, and creating the pumpkins, the garland, the wreaths, the windows, working with Imagineers and vendors to make the park picture perfect for every season. It is truly non-stop. Decorations and props aren't the only thing changing overnight. All Disney Resort horticulture is planted while you are in bed. Working on 17,000 trees, 100,000 shrubs, and planting 1 million annual bedding plants per year. Is your crew, are you guys going to plant all of this tonight? Oh yeah, it's all going in. We have about 45 flats for each trailer, uh, over a couple hundred flats for this planting tonight. Okay, so just for tonight. Yeah. How long will something like planting all of this take you? It will take us um, about four to five hours. About four to five hours? To take out the plants, rototill, and then go back in with the new plants. And how many people do you have working for you tonight? A uh, crew of about eight to ten people. Eight to ten people can do all that? Yeah, they work real fast. This next question is a little selfish. What would it take for me to hire you and your crew to come do my yard? <laughs> a lot. A lot, yeah. <laughs> The festival held each year over Columbus Day weekend as a celebration of Italian culture and traditions. Everybody's Italian for this weekend. Come up and be Italian. I love that. <laughs> this is Parmigiano Reggiano. And, and what are you putting the Parmesan on? What is it? Porcini mushroom raviolis. It's really just a great event for food, wine, and entertainment. You drink the vino. No problem. Salute. Salute. Five days of races, six classes of aircraft, and speeds over 500 miles per hour. It all adds up to the National Championship Air Races right here in Reno, Nevada. Mike, tell us about the Championship Air Races. Well, it said this is the last remaining event of its kind. It's the only event in the world like it. The National Championship Air Races is the last pylon racing event in the world, with seven classes of aircraft racing around the unique course anywhere from 50 to 500 feet above the ground flying wingtip to wingtip at speeds exceeding 500 miles per hour, it is truly an event not to be missed. Well, Mike, it sounds like to me that the true air race experience is all about the sight and sounds, and it's just simply something that you have to see.